All right, this one is to go on a little bit of a scavenger hunt. They want you to find these shapes in your home. It was for your classroom, but since we're not in our classroom, we're going to look for them in our house, okay? So there's two ways you can do this. You can find the objects and draw a picture of it. You can find the objects and write the name of it. Now, think about this. You need to find the object or the picture of, an, of that object because we might think, well, a sphere is a ball, right? But what about a football? A football's not a sphere, sphere is it? No, a football is not a sphere. It's kind of pointy on the ends. Not really a cone either, though, is it? Maybe two cones stuck together. It's like an ovoid. That's what a football is. But it's not a sphere, so we can't write it here. We can't draw it here. All of our spheres need to be completely round. They take up space. They're not just a flat circle. Our cylinders... You might find a few of the same kind. If you open your cupboards, you might find one with peas on it and one with green beans and one with corn. You can draw different pictures on your cylinders if you want to do those. Or you can write and lump them all into one group, cans. But there's also Coke cans and potato chip cans. Those kind of things are cylinders too, aren't they? And look at my crayon. It's a cylinder also, isn't it? Except for this little point at the end. But if it was broken, it would be a cylinder. Cubes. Blocks, Legos. Anything around your house that looks like a cube? Cone? Do you think you could find a cone around your house? It might be a little harder to find than the others. But I think you can do it. Take your time. Do your best. Have a little fun with it. See you soon.